handle the rupee depreciation? Yes, we can. And it's up to the RBI to make sure that it doesn't cause anxiety, it doesn't cause what you might say, a certain amount of uh, unreasonable expectation that rupee would decline further than what it is expected to in terms of various other measures, right? Effective exchange rate or real effective exchange rate or what's happening in the rest of the world and so on. But we can manage because our reserves are high. So I am, uh, you know, what I'm saying essentially is that I'm quite, uh, at the moment, I think we are in a, in a, in a state where we can handle any of the pressures that we are encountering and you are absolutely right in terms of exchange rate because that causes anxiety in the markets and if there is anxiety then people will start buying dollars to a point where our reserves would decline uh, substantially and that we don't want to happen. Do you see what I mean? I mean is that there has to be and we have handled the East Asian crisis for example you might remember of the old times but we managed it. And the management was essentially that in terms of exchange rate, you have to be very, very careful to make sure that there is no speculative pressure on the exchange rate of a kind that can't be handled through the policy framework. You see, the most important role of the central bank is that if the market is behaving in a way that we think is speculative, that it is not the real need for foreign exchange that people are buying, but people are buying foreign exchange because they expect rupee to depreciate and therefore they will make more rupees later on. So what I am saying essentially is that these are two are different issues and, and that RBI's role would be to if there is a speculation that rupee would decline and they would benefit if for no reason like uh, imports or no concrete reason for investments and so on and so forth, then we should surprise them, the RBI should surprise them by intervening at a point when it is not expected to intervene.